Palette Knife and More by Dora Shai. Now what we're going to do is actually work with a squeegee, which is like a scraper tool for windows, for the beginning. So that's why I added the more. The squeegee is going to do the sky background and we're just going to blend blue and white together to create a background. So just take your squeegee and mix it all up. Just keep working until you're happy with what you have. Now we're going to add the basic shapes to the mountains by just adding just marks really with the squeegee. So we just keep adding and adding. Just keep working the surface and creating that very first layer of color and creating the basic shapes. That's all your goal is in the beginning. Keep in mind that you want to cover the whole surface as much as possible and then you will add the detail. So right now I'm just adding marks with the squeegee and it's looking lovely actually. That's a great beginning for a painting. I'm just going to add a bit of yellow at the bottom, yellow green mostly, because those are going to be the foothills. And this is going to be the very basic beginning of the painting. What I'm going to do once I'm done this layer is let it dry. Sometimes it may take up to 24 hours to dry completely because the paint is very thick. Now it's dry and we're going to use our credit card to add more color. Now see how when you drag that credit card you end up hitting bumps and creating even more textures. So you're adding marks just by doing the credit card, the gliding of the credit card over the bumps. And this creates very interesting rocks uh, because in the mountains the snow falls on the rocks but not over every it doesn't cover everything a hundred percent so it'll cover the top of the rocks and then it'll cover some other areas and when you hit the credit card over the bumps that's exactly what happens so this is what you do now i'm adding black to create more rock shapes and I'm trying to redefine the area. So I'm just blocking some of the color out to create that space where it's going to be the mountains. And then I keep tweaking. So this is like any other process. You can keep tweaking for a long time. The hard part is deciding when you're done. What I want to do is create some kind of link that will bring my eye into the painting so we look at it. So I'm going to add marks that transition and bring my eye closer to the mountains. I'm adding paint, I'm adding a few different colors, but if you notice it's a very limited palette. There's white, black, gray, brown, and a little bit of yellow. Now I'm switching to a palette knife because I'm adding more highlights, so whiter whites, just like that. I'm creating more of the snow and I want to create the highlights and have them nice and bright. I'm adding thicker paint every time the paint gets thicker and it creates even more texture. I want that look where the mountains are receding into the background and as we come closer we see more and more detail. Now I'm adding bits of blue to create like a water effect of the snow melting and I just keep adding detail and thinking about composition the whole time. I don't just apply paint to apply paint, I apply paint in order to create an effect. And that's the main point that you have to remember. Think about how you're applying the paint and why you're applying the paint. Now you want to create a foreground that doesn't compete with the mountains. So I'm tweaking with a little bit of gray at the bottom and lessening the contrast of the whole effect of the paint. 
So I'm creating almost a duller area at the bottom. Now we're going to add more detail with the palette knife. I'm going to go for darks. And this time, see how the black hits the highlights, hits the bumps. I will keep adding to this painting, probably for weeks and weeks. And just tweaking a little bit here, a little bit there all the time. I'd like you to do the same. Play with this. Enjoy the whole process. So this is palette knife and more. So we'll see you in the next section. Yeah.